creating a section spline. To do that, we're going to go up and go to our Create tab in our uh, Command Panel. We're going to go to Shapes into the Splines drop-down menu. We're going to go into Object Type, and we're going to come down here to Section. Now, the job of a section spline is to create a special spline that bisects an object, a cross-sectional space of through these mess mesh objects and it'll end up creating unique shape then. In this particular case I'm going to pick here th through this pyramid and I'm going to start dragging this plane out and you can see the plane I let go and I've created this plane. Now I'm going to kind of grab it and whoop, I want to uh, right click sorry and I want to undo that now, I want to pull this cross section up, and you can see I'm pulling it up through the object here. Now, this plane, when I pick on it here, um, I can go up to my Modify tab, and you can see here's my plane. Now, what I want to do is say Create Shape. And when I create a shape, it's going to create a special object right where this is cutting through. You can see the, the color of the object is by default is yellow. I can pick on this swash and change the color if I like. You can see here my section size. My section size is defined as a certain size. I could actually make this maybe even a little bit. I might want to go 10 foot there actually to go all the way through. right? And then the width. I could even probably go down the six foot here, All right? And I could slide it around, etc., to get how I like it, position just right. Okay, so I can get it anywhere I like here, type of thing. And let's take a look at our section extents. It's infinite, so this section even though it's got a boundary on it, it's going to go off into all directions and it's going to cut through anything that it's going to generate a section, anything it passes through. If I say section boundary, it's only going to then generate sections within this particular section boundary down here. If I turn it off, well, then it goes away essentially and uh, and I can always turn it back on. So uh, I'll go with infinite. And then how often does the section update? Well, by default, it's whenever it moves. So if I move this section, it automatically updates that, that cross-sectional area. If it's, I could have it when the section is selected, or I could manually do it. If I manually do it, I have to hit the update button. But what I'm going to do is say create shape. And when I create a shape, it's going to ask me for a name of that shape. And I'm going to say, uh, how about uh, cross section of my uh, pyramid, right? Close enough for now. All right, I'll say OK. And I created now a cross section of this space through this mesh object and what we can do with this now this is an edible cross section it'll have a vertex it has segments it has spline sub objects and we'll learn later on how we can edit those types of things so it's got that cross section of running right through there okay so if I want to now, I can come over here and turn my section off, right, if I wanted to. And I could go back and say, no, it's infinite. And I could always update the shape at any time. And I can set it to when we spline through. So right now, we created a unique shape. And... You can see when I hover over it, there's my cross section of it. All right. So this is a special type of spline in which we build cross sectional sp space through the mesh objects. 
and we'll learn how to edit these things later on.